definitely does not have a motor in it. The point of today's video is simply showing you how I got to this point, and this is the point I'm at now, where I have an engine on the ground outside of the Mustang, and how I disassembled it, and how I got to this point today. So stay tuned for part two, but this is part one of a multi-part series. The next part will be taking the front clip off the Mustang and getting it ready for the motor to be mounted in it. So uh, enjoy. Jack it up. so it is day two of pulling that motor out of that van and bringing it up to the Mustang. All right, so we're 18 minutes into the time lapse. I've unbolted the engine and transmission. All right, so I've got one dinky little bolt. Let's see if that holds all the weight of the thousand pound plus motor. I think it should, but I'm just gonna see. So the current problem I'm having is that this tractor, it's an old L391 or whatever, I don't know. Uh, it's not lifting up, surprise, surprise, this gigantic engine and transmission. Super, super tight. It's got a lot of weight in the front end. 